Each day we get new information about what's happening with the economy related to the coronavirus. This is Nancy Wittenberg with Coldwell Banker Realty and your monthly real estate market update about what's happening right now in the Phoenix area. As you know, information changes daily, so if you have any questions as time goes on, please don't hesitate to give me a call. So far, we've seen little impact on the housing market. The housing market is a bit like a giant oil tanker at sea. You can swing the wheel hard to port and nothing appears to happen for several minutes. It is inevitable that the market will shift, but it's hard to say when. We still have a shortage of active listings, and though demand has been at a normal level, we are seeing some buyers put the brakes on shopping. We are still seeing tremendous activity in the market, and we're expecting to see demand slow down in the coming weeks. We are also expect a slight reduction in supply, perhaps even balancing some of the drop in demand. Overall, we anticipate the number of sales to decline for several months, but it will probably remain a seller's market. One of the biggest hit markets for real estate are short-term rental owners. Most people make the bulk of their income now during what is usually peak tourist season. Without tenants this year, many will have difficulty making mortgage payments and may opt to sell their investment properties, perhaps helping to ease the shortage of supply. Of course, many owner-occupied listings are also opting to pull their homes off the market to avoid the risk of having potential buyers in their home. We don't really know what to expect in the next few weeks. Let's talk recession. It's safe to assume that a recession is coming. However, there is little analytical data to back up the conclusion that home prices will fall. Obviously, anything can happen in an uncertain and disrupted world but a fall in home prices is still looking very unlikely from today's numbers. In 2005, homes were being used as speculative commodities, not for places to live. Unscrupulous lenders were making irresponsible loans. The housing industry, and more particularly the lending industry, was the cause of the 2008 recession. Phoenix was a hot spot for the cause of the problem. In 2020, Housing is an innocent bystander to a probable recession caused by a pandemic. It has supply at extremely low levels, and most homeowners have a large amount of equity. Even if they lost all their income and could no longer pay their mortgage, they could quickly find a buyer to release that equity. Most lenders are offering deferred payment options on home loans. Only when demand collapses do the banks have to foreclose to get their money back. At the moment, demand is still well above normal and is only showing very little signs of easing. And the government is putting safety measures in effect every day. A successful vaccine for the coronavirus is more likely to appear before a stimulus and surplus of homes could possibly develop. In these uncertain times, we really don't know what to expect moving forward, except that I am always available please don't hesitate to reach out. I am Nancy Wittenberg with Coldwell Banker Realty, your dedicated home advocate.